before we take a look at how this very basic standalone chat application works, we have to make some disclaimers so that developers do not use something like this the wrong way on the wrong type of server. Now I built this chat application just as a quick and dirty demonstration for the most common type of hosting account which is shared hosting. Now I'm not going to be adding any features to it or changing it by request. I made it with as few features as possible on purpose. Now let's discuss the disclaimers. Okay, my first disclaimer is that shared hosting is not ideal for server sent events. Now the second disclaimer that I'd like to make is that Apache server and PHP plus MySQL are not ideal for server sent events. Now the third disclaimer I'd like to make is consider a virtual private server or a dedicated server with WebSocket and a socket server technology to put more power into your real-time instant applications such as this. Server sent events just increases the efficiency over long polling with Ajax by cutting down on the amount of HTTP connections that need to be made. What happens with server sent events is that it connects over HTTP once and then it keeps an event stream open that uses GET requests to get data from the server. Ajax polling works in a similar way. It needs to connect over HTTP multiple times, whereas server sent events only connects over HTTP once and keeps an event stream going. So even though it's slightly more efficient than Ajax polling, it's still not a magic pill. It's not, it's not going to allow you to have a whole lot of users connected all at once, giving them instant interaction. All right, so disclaimer four is even high-end dedicated servers using sockets have a surprisingly low maximum simultaneous user limit. So let's consider popular video game makers. You can go and play video games online instantly with people, but there's going to be a limit to how many people can be on that server. Sometimes you'll see that a server is limited to 16 simultaneous users, and then there might be 16 other users playing simultaneously on a different server and then 16 other users simultaneous on a different server. So services like that have many, many different servers, and they're spending a whole lot of money to maintain all of that. For instance, take Facebook. The only reason Facebook can supply us with all this instant interaction is that they don't have millions of people all on one server. They have it spread out over multiple servers. So for instance, Facebook or Google just uses certain technology to tie all those servers together. So the reality is that you, if you have a shared hosting account, you can just have a few people maximum as simultaneous users in some kind of instant data interaction. And you have to have better technologies than server sent events. You would use socket servers, no SQL database that can be sharded out of your butt. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky, one, two in the mic. Okay, now let's test it on a shared hosting account. So we're simulating two users that are in different countries or different cities or whatever. And right when we come to the application, it asks us to enter our name. So in this one, we'll put Joe. Okay. And then it says, welcome to the chat, Joe. Press connect when ready. Okay. So he can connect whenever he wants. Then this user will name Sarah. Okay. Welcome to the chat, Sarah. Press connect when ready. Okay. So we'll connect Joe and we'll connect Sarah. Now let's have Joe say, hello, how are you? Submit. And then Sarah gets the message Joe said and she can say, fine, how are you? And Joe can say, I am doing well. How are the kids? Sarah said, kids are great. I have to go talk to you later. And then Sarah can disconnect and Joe can disconnect. And that's how it works. I'm going to give you the whole application and you can dissect it. Take it apart, reverse engineer it, use little pieces of it that you want, whatever. So we have chatexample.php, then we have server.php, chatintake.php, and then chat.txt, which is the standalone database for this example, which starts out empty. So I'll have all of the code available for you guys. You can click the link in the description of the video to access all of the code. Then you can take it and run it on your own server to see what your server is capable of. 
but ultimately I would recommend WebSocket with socket servers okay before I go let me show you how to run the console in Firefox I'll just pull this window down a little bit and let's refresh the program and I updated my database to make it empty again and let's refresh both of these now let's name this one mark welcome to the chat mark okay and then this one Pam okay welcome to the chat Pam press connect when ready okay now I change the server to retry every five seconds now before we do that let's go ahead and open the console by pressing F12 let's pull this down a little bit now we'll be able to see things that are happening so let's connect and connect over here as well now let's type something in hello dear submit and then Pam said hello there and then over here it says Pam said hello there to the user I think it was Mark say hi Pam so Mark said hi Pam Pam says see you later submit now you can see everything that's happening down here in the console the get requests are the event stream coming in from the server the post requests are the Ajax requests so you might find that handy when you're testing in Firefox just hit F12 and your console will toggle open and closed you can see everything that's taking place that the client side sees